Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do an adult coloring haul. Now I can't say this is all for um, the month of April. It's kind of a mixture of the last couple of months combined as one. <laughs> so um, I haven't been purchasing much to like have monthly hauls anymore. So yeah, um, just keep that in mind when we're going through everything. Okay, so I think I'll start with supplies. So first off, I have bought two different types of water-soluble gel crayons. Um, so the first one is the Uli, I think is how you say it. <laughs> These are smooth sticks. These are marketed for three plus. <laughs> but uh, I am doing kind of a gel crayon little comparison. I'm kind of seeing like, you know, the big ones we all know in the adult coloring community are King Art and of course Gelatos. So I kind of wanted to see what other people had to offer. So I'm trying these Uli ones. These were like so cheap. <laughs> and then I got some Marabou. Now these are artist grade. So these would probably be the closest to compete against Gelato, but I don't know, we'll see. Uh, they sell them now in these little four packs that are kind of themed and this is called Blue Ocean. So I get two purples and two blues. And these are colors I would like regularly use, which is why I went for that, as opposed to the very expensive um, <laughs> bigger pack. So yeah, we'll see what I think. If I like them, I don't know, we'll go from there. Okay. Got a few supplies, but mostly books for some reason. Interesting. <laughs> so, um, I purchased some more Splendor Blenders, just open stock. I got these ones on Amazon. Um, the cheapest place to get these is Blick. However, if you're like in a pinch, cause you know, you need to order often over $50 to get free shipping on Blick. And I wasn't ready to place my usual open stock order from Blick and I was impatient. Um, I, need, I ran out of Splendor Blenders entirely. So I just ordered them on Amazon. They come in like a little two packs. Um, and then while I was at it, I also replaced my Prismacolor Blenders, colorless blenders. Then I wanted to try these for a while, so I decided to grab them. These are the Finesse Blender Pens for colored pencil. So they're, they're actually pens, um, as opposed to what we're used to as like the blending pencils. So I'm going to give them a try. It looks like it has a bold tip and a fine tip. I just kind of want to see, like I'm, I'm curious how they work, if they work well, I guess I should say. And then um, <clears throat> I got the Koi Coloring Brush Colorless Blenders. Now these are to use with my ink tints. I have tried Tombow water-based ones and I liked them a lot. So for these were like cheaper at the time because I was running low on Tombows, so I decided to try the Koi ones um, by Sakura. I guess we'll see. <laughs> no idea if they'll be great. And then I had to replace my Pentel water brushes. So in my last live stream, I was using these Pentel wannabes. Um, they came in like a pack with some sort of budget pencil and I can't remember what, but uh, that was because my actual Pentels had frayed out. I mean, these don't last forever. So I replaced my Pentel ones. I got the three pack and oh yeah, there's the fine tip one right there. I was like, oh, please tell me there's a fine tip one. I really like the Pentel ones. So I didn't mind buying those again. Uh, I meant to rebuy, or I thought I had rebought the. Oh gosh, now I can't think of the name. <laughs> the other, they're also by Sakura, but I apparently didn't order them, so I'm like, eh, whatever. I'll use my Pentels. It's just certain water brushes I prefer to use with certain types of water soluble mediums, um, which I'll have to make a video about, I guess, huh? <laughs> so, another time. I also purchased the Arteza 18 Glitter Gel Pens. Now these are the ones, these aren't their, their hexagon barrel ones, which are okay, but these are the awesome super glittery 
ones that constantly go out of stock. So that's why you'll see on my community tab, I'll let you guys know when they come back in. <laughs> these are amazing. Ugh, I'm not forgetting out of the box though. So yeah, it's these ones. They kind of look a lot like a jelly roll in terms of their shape. These are so smooth and so freaking glittery. I use them for journaling though and not for coloring because they're so expensive and they go out of stock so often. Um, I just can't use them or justify using them in like, you know, my mandalas where I typically use glitter gel pens because I'm afraid like I'll run out of a color and not be able to get it for like five months. So yeah. Okay. So I do have some books here. The first book is by Color Ya. This is Wonderful Little World. Um, I love these little books. I've been seeing them like you can get them in the UK and whatnot, but uh, this is a French based company and I'm like so happy that it's finally on Amazon US. So like it's great paper, spiral bound. And aren't these images like so cute? <laughs> like that one. Oh my gosh. It's so adorable. And that one. Yeah, like I've been wanting to get my hands on these books. So I'm hoping all of their cute little series will start popping up on Amazon US because I've been itching to get my hands on them. Um, so yeah, I did buy that. You know, the sucky thing about a haul is you got to put everything away after. Huh. Okay. Then I got Layla Dooley's latest book. This is also on Amazon US. Um, I haven't gotten anything from Book Depository, I don't think, um, because they are out of business now, but I'm thinking like the last few months, did I order anything? <laughs> um, so this is Beautiful Planet. I need to do a flip through of this book though. Um, it is big. So if you're used to her, her smaller one, um, The Flower Year, yeah, much bigger. Um, this is kind of like Floribunda size and similar. And then the good paper. But yeah, I mean, gorgeous florals as always. We all know she's like the best <laughs> for these things. I mean, look at that. Ugh. So yeah, I need to do a flip through of this one for sure. Um, and then any other books I show today, definitely let me know if you want to see a flip through. Okay. I had put this on my community tab, and I'm sure some of you wondered if I bought it. I really did. <laughs> if I put something on there, I buy it. Um, so this is the 50 Easter and Spring Fairy Houses. I normally steer away from these ones because I love Camellia Angel Cova. I buy all her mandala books. Those are an auto buy. But <clears throat> I usually avoid these because of the Create Space paper. However, I could not resist. I could not resist this one. Um... I'll probably scan this. I don't know. Maybe I'll do marker base. They're so big and chunky. Like, I want to color these with markers. Uh, these are great if you're new to markers, too, and you're not used to staying in the fine details. If you put these on different paper. Um, because otherwise, you'll get some bleeding, you know, with the Create Space paper. But, yeah, these are just too cute. So, I had to. I had to. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> then I did a coloring heaven um, little Etsy haul so what I do is I wait till there's at least three or four books from coloring heaven that I actually want and then I go on their Etsy store and buy them I don't do the subscription anymore one because it always arrived like way later so if it was a holiday or seasonal theme I was like way out of there <laughs> like I would get the Halloween one near Thanksgiving so the other thing was is, you know, there'd be months that I, I didn't like the books and <clears throat> the cost of it just wasn't worth it. So yeah, I buy them on their Etsy, but I did get the Fairy Tales Compendium. Uh, this one is a whole combination, like we got Fabiano Atanasio, Fabiana, sorry, um, Herb Leonard, Ennis Guerrero, ooh, I really want to color that one. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not a fan of the, the newer paper. Why, why'd you have to change it? Uh, we have Jasmine Beckett Griffith, Hannah Lynn. I mean, this is going to be a fun one for sure. Um, so yeah, 
Really excited. Oh, White Stag is in here too. Nice. Selena Fennec. So that is the Fairy Tales Compendium. All right. <clears throat> then we got the Little Cutie Special. Oh my gosh, I was itching to get this one when it came out. It's Daria Sakasoy, also known as Coloring Chicks, um, and Daria Draws. So I was like, oh, I want that one, but I had to wait until I had three or four so I could get the free shipping. <laughs> but looks like she has one grayscale. Oh, so yeah, a lot of them are line art or a mixture of line art and grayscale. But <clears throat> yeah, we've got some grayscale, some line art. Now there should be, I don't know if there's exclusives in this one. I have this one in grayscale in her, her book. Like all of these, if you have her books, you're going to already have. Um, I'm trying to remember what book that one is in. Oh, okay. So we have some exclusives. Here we go. Okay. So um, these ones at the front are exclusives. Oh, that's cute. I think she, she did a video on that one. I can't remember now. Oh, that one's adorable. So yeah, <clears throat> I really wanted that one. And then I got the manga fantasy special or manga, sorry. Manga, manga. Look at this. It's a combination of artists. Um, I usually use markers with these, but some of these are detailed. I might break out pencil. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> I love this. Ah. So yeah, um, I really, I don't know. I'm drawn to these, and but I have to be in the mood to color them. <clears throat> but I definitely wanted to grab this special. So I'm kind of, I'm super excited about that one. And then, see, this is going to be totally like, you know, late to the game, right? But this was from last Halloween. However, like I said, I have to wait till there's three or four to just get the free shipping. So this is the Bad Girls Halloween special. Oh my gosh, when I first saw this, I was like, dang it, <laughs> I want it now. I waited. So we've got like Christopher Lavelle, I can look at that. These are gonna be hard to color because of the heavy gray scale, but <clears throat> it can be done. Oh, look at this all these images for Halloween. I'll have it for this Halloween. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Ooh, JM Liotti. I have, yep, this one. I have this one already, but I like that one and I'm not really keen on feather coloring, but oh, these are just so awesome. Oh, I love these. Oh, I love that one too. I like these specials because then I like go, oh, you know what? I need to check out that artist, like Lendl Art. Um, I went onto her Etsy after seeing her in one of the specials and was like, wow, I really like what she does. Um, so it kind of exposes you to some new artists that you may not know are even around. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh. <clears throat> so, sorry, my pile is crazy. Um, I've been just like putting it in a pile in my office downstairs and then I brought it all up here and it kind of just fell all over. So Color It sent me this one here. You'll actually be seeing a flip through of this already before um, this haul. So you can just go check out that flip through. But this is France, one of their latest and greatest. And it's, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. So um, I mean, yeah, I absolutely love, I love Color It books. Great paper, everything about them is great, like quality, the artwork. Oh my goodness, how many books did I get? <laughs> okay, so uh, Gnome Sweet Gnome, I've already done a video on this, but like I said, you know, this is a culmination of several months. So that's why you're going to see some stuff that I've already done a video on or flip through or even used. Um, but this is the Teresa Goodridge latest and greatest and it is adorable. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, adorable. I mean, you can use it for every scene or season. I mean, uh, I think this might end up in one of my 10 books to finish. I really want to swap it in. <laughs> Cause it's so cute. I hate the new paper they're using though. 
And every time I ask, I'm like, hey, have you guys figured out why the paper's this way? And they they say no. Okay, so I bought two Christine Caron books. Now this is her latest one. Um, I usually end up having most of the PDFs, but I've stopped purchasing the PDFs because I know she's gonna put them out in a book eventually. Same with like Daria Sakasoy. Unless there's one where I'm just like, oh gosh darn it, I love it. <laughs> but I thought I had all the Christine Caron ones and I realized this was one I didn't have. So this is Characters Through Worlds and Times. And this has been out for a while. In fact, I've colored that PDF. And a lot of these I'm going to have, um, but I really do like, I've colored that one. I like them in the books. I've colored that one, in fact, on the live stream and it's hanging in my office here, my art studio. But yeah, I do like them in the book. They're smaller scale than when I would print them. And it would be nice to just like finish a book. And I don't mind recoloring her images. I love her artwork. Uh, so the Fairy and Fantasy Four. this is the grayscale one. She does usually release a line art edition. Oh, see, look, we've got them all in color back here. It's like line art, grayscale, line art, or I'm sorry, grayscale, line art. I <laughs> got that backwards. Um, ooh. Swirl Spirits and Mermaids. I'm gonna have to see if I can find those. I'm kind of curious about those ones. Um, Cause that would be very interesting. The realistic portrait one I didn't get because that was just a little too far out for me. But yeah, I have the rest of these including Wildflower. I don't have the Benny Blues, but that's just because I, I don't know if they'll be my thing. You know, I don't think I have these purple ones. The Fantasy and Fairy. I think I'm missing that one, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, this one's actually a little bit more, the images are larger. Oh, I love that one. But yeah, I just, like I said, a lot of these you'll get either released from her Patreon. Oh gosh, that is gorgeous. I don't remember seeing this one. Um, or they're released on her Etsy. So sometimes I end up buying them because I'm like, oh, I just want to color it now and not wait. But, oh, this one, I can't wait to color. It's just so flippin' cute. But we are getting into Mermaid. So I'm going to have to focus on our tail friends. Like, this would work for Mermaid. Which reminds me, I need to do a video for Mermaid. Okay. Um... I have two books from Rachel Mintz. They sent these to me. I actually have another video coming out that'll do a full flip through of both of these. So I'm not going to bother and there will also be a giveaway. So uh, sponsored by Rachel Mintz. So keep an eye out, but they have their cupcake fairies. Uh, they sent the, like, you know, sent it to me and I was like, oh, that's so cute. Now these are AI generated. So keep that in mind. Um, and then these ice cream houses. <laughs> so yeah, I'll have a video for both of those. But in the meantime, and then I have my flower scape in paradise. This is actually the second copy. Maggie sent me the first, all signed and lovely. But I always get two copies of her books because I think what I'm going to do with this one is, so the first one I'm doing cover to cover in Prismacolor in order, I'm going to do this one in, I think, Polychromos um, cover to cover. And then I always have the extra book so I can go back and like say I'm like, you know what, I want to color that one with ink tents or who knows. So yeah, I, I buy a second. Um, great paper. I have a full flip through already. Um, like I said, this is a culmination of a few months. So, um, okay. So this is going to be, oh, so I was sent some happy mail. So let me get this, um, let me get this all together here. Okay. I don't want to I don't want to miss anything so a wonderful subscriber by the name of Christina sent me some happy mail um, and she sent this during you know the time I was dealing with my puppies and um, it was really sweet because I opened this and I was honestly 
I was just so touched because she sent me something to cheer me up and 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 it was just so sweet and thoughtful and uh christina i don't have your email <laughs> so if you can email me um or send me a message on instagram so i could thank you personally that would be awesome because I, I want to definitely thank you but she sent me a couple things so the cute and sweet coloring book isn't this adorable now i had um i think i had like pointed this one out because I had seen it pop on Amazon and I was like oh that's so cute but this is really cute uh, and you don't have to just do this in February I mean this is totally can be year-round we all need some more love year-round am I right <laughs> so she sent that also um, on my wish list I needed another set of monarchs because I actually go through my black widow pencils um, at a pretty quick rate. <laughs> so she sent me um, the replacement, which is great because there is like three colors that are just barely holding on in my case. And I was like, oh crap, I need to buy some Monarchs. But um, she had sent these. So I was like, oh. And then this one was awesome. Um, so a while back, I had gotten some Wink of Stella brushes, but they turned out to be the gold ones. And so I was like, oh crap. And so she sent me the clear ones, the right ones that I was trying to get the whole time. <laughs> so thank you so much for that, Christina, because I am super excited to try these. I have the other ones from Spectrum Noir, but I hear so many good things about Wink of Stella. So yeah, I am really, really excited to like break those open. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to get this haul done, because I was like, I want to use this stuff. Okay, Ooh. so I do have a few PDFs that I purchased as well um, over the last couple months. These, some may be from Patreons as well. I've been printing them out and then I kind of space cadet, but this is Rosie by Daria Sekasoy. Um, I think she did this as one of her Valentine's Day ones too, but I need to color this because it's so cute. And then, oh yes, I got some Lana Green. This was for Valentine's. I just didn't have time to color it. Um, but then I got some more Lana Green images that I was missing. Isn't this pretty with the tiger lily? Oh, I love it. Again, more Lana Green. She's like an auto buy artist. Uh, I think this was called like Citrus. This will be fun for summer. This one is also a Lana Green. Oh my beautiful love it woman is so talented and then this one I'm just blown away it's beautiful am I excited to color the hair of course but look at this one I need to like keep these out on my desk and start just like I need to have like a Lana green month where I just color tons of because I have tons of PDFs from her and not all are printed either <laughs> I only print the ones that I'm like, I want to color that now, and I may not color it now, but oh, this one's beautiful. Oh, sorry for the construction noise. It's going to be with us for at least another year. This one, oh, breathtaking. Uh, and then Rain on her Patreon released this one for Valentine's. Isn't that beautiful? Gosh, she is so talented. I hope she's allowed back on Etsy soon because... I love her artwork. I love it. Oh, and then this is another Lana Green. I can't remember why I put it on tan tone. I think, honestly, it was just in the printer. It was an accident, but it's not going to waste. I'm going to color it. I do kind of find it, this one kind of wacky. Like, she's got bees and she's eating grapes. I don't know. Got a lot of interesting things going on here, but either way, they're going to get used. Okay. All right, <clears throat> I still have more books too. Ugh, they're all piled off to the side. Like I said, some of these books you are going to have seen flip throughs and all that already because um, it's been a few months, but I did get the pocket size. You know, now that I have thought about it, I should have gotten the PDF version because I hate CreateSpace and it would be so much easier just to print out the PDF ones 
all on the paper I like and bind them. So what this one is, is liner and grayscale. And I did grab this a while ago, um, basically right when it came out. I may just randomly ship this one off to a subscriber as a happy mail surprise. Um, because yeah, I don't know, but I am gonna do another book de-stash as well. So I might just include it in there and go buy the PDF. I need to quit, quit playing around with the, the ones I know I'm gonna hate. Okay, so this is Beautiful Portraits. Um, now I got the hardback edition. Why do I feel like I recorded this one? I couldn't have though, it was downstairs. Um, Unfortunately, they went through all the trouble to make it hardback. These interim pages, great. And then it's create space crap paper in the center. <laughs> so I was like, well, okay. Um, so do not buy the hardcover version of this. The paper's awful. Um, well, it's create space. So this is definitely gonna go in my pile to de-stash. It's too late to return, but just don't make the mistake I did getting the hardcover. I thought maybe like if I got the hardcover, it would be better quality, and that's where I was wrong. You know what they say about assuming. Okay, then I got um, the Cupcake Coloring Book by Coco Wayo. These ones, you know, these might have been included in my last haul, and I just made them. Yeah, this one was in, in my last haul. I'm pretty sure. Okay. But I do have these ones that were not. So, I did grab the Alien Worlds. I did a flip through and all that on my channel. Um... This is the latest from Kirby Rosanis, and he's going to be taking a break for a while, so um, this is kind of the last for now. Um, and I'm not into aliens, but I plan to color this kind of like he did here, you know? Make it pretty and not think of, like, creepy crawlies. And then I did get Birds in the Forest. I do have a flip through of this one on my channel already, so... Um, Definitely check that out. It's from Denise Clut. I love her books. <laughs> Always quality paper. This thing is monstrously thick. Um, and in fact, in Mermaid, I'll be doing her Mermaid's one. And then I did get Aviary, one of the latest from Mythographic. I have a flip through on my channel as well. Ugh, these get better and better. Look at this. If you hadn't seen the flip through already. Yeah, I definitely need to get these. Oh, that one. Why am I drawn to that one? See, the problem is, is I need to quit looking through my books because then I'm just like, screw mermaid. I don't care. I want to color everything else. <laughs> but this year, I'm going to be good and I'm going to be solid about mermaid. Oh, I do have one piece of happy mail. One sec. Okay, this one's not technically happy mail. The next one is, though. Um, now, this was sent to me by the artist, so I will be doing a flip through. Um, unfortunately, I have been so behind about checking my P.O. box, so if anyone has sent anything to my P.O. box in the last month, I have not gotten out there. They actually called me and said, you have a few packages on hold, so I'm like, oh crap, I should probably get out there. So I'm going to do that this week, but um, Chelsea Geldian, oh gosh, I hope I said that right, did send me this Seek and Find coloring book, so I'll do... A flip through of this one for you guys later and then a piece of happy mail this is so cute look at it. she wrapped it and everything she sent it in the cutest envelope now this is Melissa she is one of my awesome subscribers and moderators for my discord and my channel so she made a stencil so we both collected all the Prima marketing watercolor palettes and so look, she made a stencil for me to outline on my sketchbook, and then I can have like each Prima palette swatched like it's its own little thing. I, it's so cute. So she she made this and sent it to me, and uh, 
she's so sweet <laughs> to, to create these things and so crafty like I need to start being like out of the box and make my own stencils but she sent me this so that I could um, copy her awesome idea pretty much <laughs> so thank you Melissa and that is it for my haul it's not a huge haul um, like I said it's just the culmination of a bunch of supplies I've been collecting over the last few months and now I need to put all these books away um, now this sounds kind of ridiculous I know but I am going to be doing a de stash of coloring books and that is just because I have um, when I did my last de stash I forgot about a whole stack of like coloring book cafes and create space ones that I had put in the cupboards of my bookshelf. So I was like, oops. <laughs> um, and then there's some books that like I've been sent or I've been trying to like go through because I'm really trying to pare it down to just, you know, the books I'm going to color. Um, and I'm definitely going to stop buying create space books. Like I'm going to wait until the artist either puts it on their Etsy or find a way to get a better quality print because otherwise I'm just wasting time, right? So, yeah, that is my haul for the last few months. Thank you guys for the happy mail um, and then also like the emails and then of course all of, all of you that donated to help as well. Um, I appreciate that. One reason I was kind of hesitant to do a haul is because um, I had received some really harsh or rude comments about um, how I shouldn't be buying anything if people are donating towards my dogs and um, that was kind of hurtful because I used every single penny of those donations and put it towards our vet bills. Um, I'm not that type of person and furthermore um, I actually never wanted to open up the donations. Um, I was just asked it because Quite a few people said it would make them feel better if they had a way to donate. So I did that. Um, and so thank you to those who were kind and donated. I put it straight towards the vet bills. Um, and then, yeah, just over the last few months, I bought a few things for myself here and there. Um, but I hate that I have to out justify <laughs> things like that or um, almost like back up my own character. So... I honestly was on the fence about doing this haul because of some of the comments I received, including horrible comments on books I was receiving from the artists and not even purchasing myself. So yeah, um, hopefully we're past all that negativity now. Um, you know, my everything's going well here and I did close down the donation just because of uh, that I was tired of being harassed upon being harassed for the same type of thing, just different different reasons of being harassed. A girl can only take so much <laughs> before they crack. So yeah, um, hopefully you guys understand that anything I purchased here was with my own money. And like I said, it's been over the last few months. Um, and just little things here and there that I either needed or wanted and like I said, I loathe the fact that I have to justify a haul, but um, apparently that is the world we live in at the moment. Um, and so that sucks. <laughs> but I'm always honest with you guys, so I'm gonna be honest here. That's why I've kind of just put off the hauls. And in fact, I there's a few books off to the side. I don't know if I ever showed because um, I had purchased them months before it happened, but they took months to get here. Um, but yeah, I just didn't want the negativity. So I'm kind of catching up on a lot of things as well. But anyway, I digress. Uh, that is the haul for the last few months. I probably won't have another one for another few months because like I said, I'm, you know, I'm not buying a ton of things. Um, and I, you know, obviously I'm, saving or to pay for my vet bills but on occasion I do need to buy myself something <laughs> we all need a little joy in our life but 
yeah, so not as much, um, but I still have plenty of goodies to play with and I'm very excited. If you want any flip throughs of anything I've shown you other than the ones I said I'll already have a video on, or if you want to see anything in action, let me know or color along. Um, I'm going to really be working on that. So yeah, thank you all for hanging out and listening to my really long end of the video rant. <laughs> so I apologize. But until next time, take care. Bye now.